Hi, I'm Anthony DeLuca. I live here in Allegheny County, and I live here with my wife, Holly, and my three kids, age 12, 10, and 7. Family is very important to me. In fact, it's the most important thing in my life. Um, I look at my immediate family, um, and that's the most important to me, of course, but I look at my entire community as part of my family as well. Um, I'm involved in various activities like supporting the Homeless Children's Education Fund. Um, I coach baseball. I coach <coughs> flag football. I'm involved in a lot of community activities because I believe that a person should give back to their community. Um, when I was a young person, I grew up outside of Greensburg, Pennsylvania, um, in Hempfield. I went to Hempfield High School. My uh, parents were from up the 28 corridor. They lived in Aspinwall, Sharpsburg, um, Springdale, all of those communities in the Allegheny Valley. So I spent a lot of time in those areas when I was growing up. When I graduated high school, I decided I wanted to go on an adventure, so I went to Boston. I attended Boston College, um, and I was there for four years. And one of the things that I learned is that I truly loved the Pittsburgh area, and I wanted to return. So I went back. I went to law school at the University of Pittsburgh, where I graduated magna cum laude in 1997, um, and then took a clerkship on the Pennsylvania Supreme Court with Justice Montemuro, um, and I went to Philadelphia for a little while. Um, I was going to stay in Philadelphia for two years and come back to Pittsburgh. However, my mother developed breast cancer, and I wanted to be with her. As I said, family is very important to me, and I wanted to be by her side during that time. So I returned to Pittsburgh, and it's the best decision I ever made. Uh, I had an opportunity to put down roots in the community that truly cares for one another, that is friendly, um, yet successful. It's a very proud Pittsburgher and a very proud Western Pennsylvania and Allegheny County resident. Um, currently, um, a, law, a lawyer practicing in the areas of criminal defense and union labor law. I represent um, a couple of Teamster local unions, um, and I represent everything from package delivery folks, manufacturing, health care, um, law enforcement, uh, road crews, and other public sector employees. I do, I'm um, very proud that I fight for better wages and health care for working families and those have become part of my community, those people have become part of my community as well. Um, I intend to be in this community for the rest of my life and I want to do in my life in whatever capacity what I can to help my community. I am running for Allegheny County Court of Common Pleas Judge. I have wanted to be a judge since I worked for Justice Montemuro um, as well as Judge Lally Green here in Pittsburgh. Uh, they had indicated to me that they thought I was a very fair-minded person and that I would make an excellent judge. Uh, to that end, I have built my career in such a way uh, to be, make myself ready for judge. Um, I've worked with victims of crime. I've worked with defendants and their families. Um, and I've worked with uh, various members of the community from pro, uh, probation officers to police officers to judges, etc. So I have a wide range of experience to help me understand the issues that everybody in the criminal justice system has. In addition to that, I've had an opportunity, as I've said, to work with working families in the area of labor law and to handle some issues that aren't very um, well represented on the bench in Allegheny County. And I have an opportunity to make a difference there as well. Why am I running now? I'm running now because there are some issues through recent protests and so forth that have been brought to light, uh, problems that we've had in our society forever. And those problems, I think there is now a will for people to make a difference and make community change. Um, to that end, what I would say to you, while it is a judicial position um, and there are, can't really change the laws, there are things that exist within the ability of the judiciary to make a difference. Um, it starts with the individuals that become before a judge. Um, again, I've spent my career learning intimately all of the players in the criminal justice system and what their concerns and what they face. Um, and to that end, what, I, what a judge should do is sit there and work with the people in front of them to determine what those issues are and what changes can be made and what help can be provided to individuals in order to get a better result for everybody involved, whether it be the police, whether it be the defendants, the victims, etc. If we can work together, we can get better solutions to these problems. And a judge needs to work hard to understand who is in front of him or her. Um, so I think, I think that's um, an area where I can make improvement. In addition, I believe that judges can ultimately uh, make a difference 
by putting together the various players in the, the justice system, and I'll talk about criminal justice for a second. Um, for instance, while no, we can't create legislation, we can do something along the lines of um, having a program where young people or other people charged with crimes are brought before a group of people such as uh, a judge, uh, the police, the representative of the district attorneys, an officer of the public defenders before they're even charged. A police officer does not have to charge a crime as soon as it happens. If we can do that, if we can bring those players together before somebody's charged, we can lower incarceration and we can prevent individuals from having a criminal record which ends up handicapping them as they move through their life. I've been a lawyer for 23 years and in that time I have worked with all of the major players in the criminal justice system. I started my career working for judges, writing their opinions, and helping them decide cases. I've worked as a, in the district attorney's office as a um, person who helped the victims of violent crime and helped them work through the issues and deal with the problems that they face. In addition to that, while in the district attorney's office, and this is what I'm most proud of in my time, uh, in my career as a prosecutor and a defense attorney, is that I helped to create and develop the mental health court here in, in Allegheny County. We developed that court and we were able to take individuals with mental health problems brought into the system, provide treatment, okay, provide opportunity for improvement, and take that person without incarceration from a position where they were not properly treated to where they were doing exceptionally well and went on to live healthy and productive lives without coming back to the criminal justice system. So I'm very proud of that and as a criminal defense attorney I have continued to represent individuals for free who are in a situation where they have severe mental health problems or are in the criminal justice system. I have spent a lot of time, it's a very exhausting work, but the reward of seeing that person improve is amazing. And what else I was able to learn by being involved in this process is that sometimes a more collaborative approach to justice is appropriate. Look, there are dangerous people in the world and those society has to be protected. But most people who come into the criminal justice system have an underlying issue, whether it be a mental health problem or a substance abuse issue. And if we can work together, if we can explain to victims of crime what the problems are and why we're going to do this and why treatment is a better option. And if we can treat the individuals and we can talk to the police and say, hey, listen, you don't want to see this person again. Let's take care of those problems. I learned that that can be very effective by working with everybody to come to a treatment result rather than a incarceration result. And so I've had an opportunity to work with defendants as a criminal, criminal defense attorney for over 15 years. I've sat with families who are losing Using a loved one to uh, incarceration and their support and their their financial um, earnings and, and I've seen the problems that exist there and finally as a, as a union lawyer as part of what I do as a union lawyer I represent many police officers and so I understand the issues they face as well and so with that wide range of experience I think I am better suited than almost any other candidate in fact better suited than any candidate to understand the underlying issues in the criminal justice system and how we can get to results that are more effective. As I've gone through this process of running for judge, I've had an opportunity to meet a lot of people. And when I meet those people, they of course ask other people that I know about me. And I'm honored to say that the feedback I get is that people say about me, he's a really good guy. And what I believe that means is that I always have a kind word for somebody I always try to make people feel better about themselves, and I always make sure if I have an opportunity to make people understand that they're capable of much more than even they believe. I do the same thing with my kids. I talk to them about achievement, being kind to others, and being a positive force in the world. I tell my one son all the time, you want to use your goodwill to influence the world. And that's what I try to do, whether it be in a small way, talking to uh, a family member or a stranger, somebody in my organization. Um, you always want a kind word to help pump a person up and to make them better and feel better about themselves. I truly believe in my family and that family is where all things begin and that's where success and happiness radiate from. And I believe that moves into communities and into the larger world. I'm a person 
that wants to help people, and I'm a person that does everything I can to do so. The people of Allegheny County should vote for me for judge for several reasons. First of all, I bring a breadth of experience to the position, if I'm successful, that no other candidate has. I have seen every individual in the justice system in an intimate way. By that I mean I've sat with victims of crimes, I've sat with criminal defendants and their families, and I've sat with law enforcement, probation, and judges. I know where the issues are in the system. And I'm a person that can fix them on an individual basis as well as a broader basis as well. The other reason you should vote for me for, for Allegheny County Court of Common Pleas is that I will treat everybody who comes into my courtroom with dignity and respect. I am not interested in being the star of the show as a judge and making funny comments and demeaning people. I am there to help facilitate a solution to a problem and to treat underlying issues if they are there. I will work hard, I will work a full day, and I will learn about who is in front of me, and I will learn about what the person faces and what issues they have, so that we can help to correct them rather than just process them through the system. Vote for me for Allegheny County Court of Common please, because I will work very hard to make people better. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so I can bring you more videos on subjects like this and many other topics. Please leave any comments in the, in the comment section. Any questions or comments, I'll get back to them as soon as I possibly can. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.